There's, there's so many great opportunities to see art, and Art Basel in Miami is one of the most amazing. And Splat Paints' Jeff Monsine and his wife were lucky enough to experience the art firsthand. We saw contemporary art, huge paintings, we saw portraits, we saw um, sculptures, uh, street art was amazing, graffiti. Um, not everybody can afford the most expensive paintings to hang in their house. Sometimes you can just take something that you have, an old photograph or a, a smaller picture that you've got, and if you make a really great frame for it, it really weights it and looks like it's worth a lot of money. Well, I'm up for that test. I already have the right picture, but now I just need to find the frame. Because look at all, I mean, even those window frames, look at how neat that is. So we take a trip to an antique and salvage store in search of ideas. Oh, look at this. These are great. Look at all the frames that are here, and they're so reasonable. All of these are $12. You could make a contemporary frame from this. You could, here's an old primitive one that you could, you know, refinish so easily. These are great. You just have to look for a size that works for your picture. So basically just rummage through different thrift stores, salvage stores, places like that. Find something that might fit your artwork, and then you can go paint it Absolutely. and make it really shine. Yeah, it can be a lot of fun. Okay, neat. I, I'm getting this. Back at Jeff's studio, there is a lot of creativity going on. Is this where you turn into Mr. Creativity? This is where it all begins. We frame our plan of attack. Am I going to need a hard hat for this project? I think that would be good for you. Okay, Jeff, here is your challenge. My husband took this photo when we were abroad, and I found a really inexpensive frame, and I already had it matted at a craft store, so that was super cheap. This is a great frame that we can work from. It's okay. nice and chunky and there are lots of things we can do to it. Actually, it would be really cool because you've got the, the strong red in there. Maybe we'll do like a, a red underpaint and then a black back on top of it with a little bit of crackling and distressing to show the red through. Perfect. Okay, so what is the first step here? Well, the first step is let's go ahead and take the picture out of the frame. No, oh, but I just put it all together myself. I, I know, but it's so much easier to work without having to mask anything. Okay, we'll do it the right way then, the Jeff way. Watch your fingers. We're going to start with the red as the base coat, and it doesn't really matter. You can't really do a bad job because we're going to cover the whole thing with black anyway. And you don't have to have 100% coverage because we're not going to have the cracks showing everywhere. So just do it in some places. So you're just hitting it. You just have to give it a little bit of this red underneath because that's going to be covered by the black. So this is um, a crackle medium, and there are tons of them out there. As a matter of fact, if you even get stuck, you can use Elmer's glue. And you put it on the, the uh, frame randomly. Not, don't cover the whole thing, otherwise you're going to get this look of absolute 100% crackle everywhere, and it's not going to look realistic. Okay, this is really easy. Why don't you do it? Okay, I want to add some age to this piece. Make this frame look old. So we have the black paint, which is actually the final coat that we're putting on the frame. Right. And what do we have to do here to make it crack smoothly? Well, we want it to be fairly thick, and we don't want to overwork it. We want to just put it on and move on. And do we do full coverage? Full coverage. I see some crackage happening. It's happening. It happens really quickly. The crackle medium separated the base coat from this top coat. Watch what happens if we add the blow dryer. It'll it'll make these cracks open up so quickly. I mean, even in real time, you can see the cracks happening. Wow. It's pretty amazing. I think it's really interesting how this fiery red is just coming straight through this kind of lava rock, charcoal-y black. Yeah, there's a lot of contrast. There is, it's really neat. But it's here and there, it's not everywhere, so it makes it a little bit more fun. Now my once inexpensive frame looks like a pricey antique with an aged patina that complements and enhances the photo so well, you'd never know it only cost 30 bucks to create.